Today we're going to be looking at evaluating expressions and this is our first step into doing harder problems in algebra. Now, this is really easy to do as long as you read the directions and follow along because the directions are going to tell you the number or numeric values for the letters that are in the equations. For example, for the next few problems that we're going to do together, we will say that A is going to be equal to negative 6 and M will be equal to 1.3. So whenever we have an expression with either the letter A, we're going to replace it with a negative 6. If our expression has M, we're going to replace it with 1.3. So let's look at some examples now of how to evaluate expressions. Our first expression will be M minus 0 0.3. Five. And I want to find the answer to this. Well, the first thing I want to do is rewrite this expression. Now, we know m is equal to 1.3. And I'm going to subtract 0 0.5 from it. And after doing the subtraction, I'm going to come up with an answer, 0 0.8. Now it ended up being a really simple subtraction problem. And all I had to do was go back and replace the letter with the numeric value. Let's try some more now. This time we will take 2a and we're going to divide because remember the fraction bar will mean divide. We divide 2a by 3. First step is to rewrite this so it becomes 2 times a, which is negative 6. 2 times negative 6, and it's going to be divided by 3. That stays the same. 2 times negative 6, we know, will be a negative 12. Negative 12 divided by 3 is going to give me an answer of negative 4. Let's look at two more. This time around we'll do a little addition. Let's say we have 3m. I'm going to add 3m to 3.6. First thing to do is rewrite it, replacing the letter with its numeric value. So this becomes 3 times 1.3 plus 3.6. I'll have to think back a little bit to order of operations. Do my multiplication first because it's more important than the addition. And after working this out, I get an answer of 7.5. So I get one final equation. We're going to have to use order of operations again for this one. And it's going to be 4 minus a squared plus 10. So now what I want to do is rewrite it. So I want to take these letters out, replace them with numbers. Now I have 4 minus, remember a was a negative 6. So it's going to be negative 6 squared plus 10. If I think back to order of operations, I need to change this exponent over. 4 minus 36 plus 10. If I work all that out, I come up with an answer of negative 22. So remember, the most important thing to do when we're evaluating expressions is to look at the directions, see what number the letters represent, go back rewrite the problem, and then do order of operations to solve.